And let's get you a slice of an exclusive conversation with the top boss at Britannia Industries, Michael Asa Chopra, caught up with uh, Varun Berry, who's the MD at Britannia Industry, as well as Cecile uh, uh, Billiot, sorry, uh, global CEO at uh, Bell Foods, the company that they are actually partnering with for the cheese category. Let's listen in to a slice of the conversation. We've had this vision to be a total global foods company. And, uh, you know, to fulfill that vision, uh, dairy was uh, a very important part of that because, you know, as you know, it's the, India is the largest uh, producer of milk. Uh, everyone understands what milk means. Uh, it's just that cheese hasn't gotten to the level that it should. Uh, and, you know, in terms of penetration as well as in terms of revenues. And we saw that as an opportunity. Um, uh, you know, standalone, uh, I don't think Britannia would have looked at this, but with an able partner like Bell, uh, with their 116 years of cheese experience and our 120 years of uh, experience in India uh, in doing distribution, you know, producing products, etc., we thought that this was probably the best thing to do and get into a category which is nascent which is small currently, but growing very rapidly and be a part of that party. You also mentioned in the press conference that dairy is the sector for India, which is very vast. And uh, uh, being many, many competitors in the same sector, how do you plan your overall growth strategy? How much product diversification is important for the sector like dairy and your strategies and plans? Are you coming up with more products or innovating anything? So, uh, we are very clear about one thing. We are not going to the commodities, right? So, that's the first principle that we follow. Uh, we will only do value-added products. So, uh, in the foods part of dairy, it's going to be cheese, which will be, uh, you know, the lead as far as our product innovation and our, you know, product portfolio is concerned. And in drinks, it's going to be milkshakes, which we've got uh, winking cow already in the market. So it's value-added products. And there are many other value-added products within dairy. And we're going to explore all of those. And a lot of these products sit in the area of cheese, right? The dips and, you know, all of that, spreads and so much you can do with this. And Bell has so many products, you know, whether it's for cooking or for eating or for snacks or for, you know. So uh, we will, over a period of time, look at uh, all of those. Uh, in fact, if you look at what we are doing currently, we've got these sachets which we've launched, which are now going to come in a pack of 10 sachets. Uh, the, each sachet is only 15 rupees, uh, which is going to make cheese, and they're pure cheese, right? This is going to make uh, cheese more accessible. Uh, we've also got the portions which currently are being imported from Vietnam, again from the Bell factory. Uh, really exciting products. Uh, if you haven't tried them, please try them today. Uh, you also said in your earning calls that uh, rural growth is making a comeback. Like, uh, how did you see the Q2 results or your demand growing up in that sector, rural sector? So rural was faster than urban uh, in Q2, uh, but uh, it's it's still we are still not out of the woods. I think, as as I am seeing uh, uh, other FMCGs declare their results, it it still seems that the demand is a little tepid. And uh, as we go forward, we are hoping that in the next uh, three to six months we are able to come out of that uh, low demand phase. Okay, yeah, absolutely. And one of the major problems of inflation is that increase in the raw material, especially of the palm oils. How are you taking that strategies into uh, whether it will impact the uh, prices of your products, your finished products? How do you see, uh, see the raw materials cost increasing? Because it has been uh, tremendously mentioned by RBI also and the government uh, as well, they uh, put into that. I want to hear your thoughts and your thoughts as well, because it's uh, one of the most important factor. Yeah. Well, um, you're right. The palm oil prices have gone uh, haywire. Um, the reason for that is uh, a duty increase. And uh, I think the reason for the duty increase, the import duty increase, is to 
protect the local uh, farmers. Uh, I think it's a temporary measure. Uh, the government will uh, reduce the duties as we go forward. Uh, there comes a time when your heart calls for you to arise. Plant your feet solid into the ground. Decide your own limits and then break right through them. Become something more. It's my time to rise.